Hey guys, RPM here. I am at my new mining location slash house, and you guys can see I got two 200 amp circuit panels. They are installed, as you guys can see, and I'm gonna be updating you guys on just this basement here, and I also wanna go through and talk with you all if uh, you guys can give me some opinions on how I should I guess set up my mining rigs eventually. I, I've been thinking of a couple different options as this basement is a decent amount of room, a lot of room, but there is some things to consider in terms of like, you know, potential airflow and whatnot. But anyways, before I begin, guys, showing you everything, this video is sponsored by... The Meter Box. A familiar product to this channel is back with a new lid that finally offers a solution for home miners using a standard 125 volt outlet to measure their power usage in real time. It's available now on their website. Use the link in the description for a discount off your next order. Because of the new lid, they're now running their biggest giveaway yet for the entire month of July, giving away over $7,000 worth of prizes like an iPolo V1 Mini Classic Plus, a 3600 watt X12 Octo Miner, tons of meter boxes, limited edition NFTs, and a bunch of stuff from GPURisers.com. Check out their new meter box and enter this amazing giveaway, no purchase necessary. You may also purchase items for additional entries and even better chances to win. The meter box contest is worldwide, extending through the entire month and ending on July 31st. Winners will be announced publicly on August 5th. All right guys, first things first, in case some people were wondering, there was an issue, well, not really an issue, in the last vlog that I did. Okay, near the end of that, uh, in the end of that video, just showing you guys my, my place initially in that first video, uh, some of you guys may have saw that there was Cat6 being run and it was like all over on the floor here and it seemed like it wasn't long enough. And it was, eventually it was. The uh, contractor that ran the Cat6, it did make it all the way over, all the way over here, okay? So anyone's wondering, just giving you guys that quick update, it is going all the way to the back of my server rack here, okay? I gotta watch where I step because they're actually still running more, more power cables for the uh, septic, uh, septic tank, I believe. All right, so look at this, okay? All of my Cat6 that's all around the house. In total, I have 19 Cat6A runs around the house, and they are not terminated, obviously, on each end and on the other side as well. I have to do the terminations myself, which I'm, I'm not really looking forward to doing because it's something that I haven't done in a long time. I'm glad they labeled them as well, which is really nice. But yeah, it's been a while since I terminated my own ends and I have all the Keystone Jacks and RJ45, whatever, all that stuff that I'm eventually gonna go into. Well, on this side, this is gonna go into the patch panel, uh, Cat 6A patch panel on my StarTech 37U rack. Okay, some people may be wondering, Red Panda, why didn't you get a 42? to U server rack and trust me I wanted to but simply it's just the basement height in here is not standard height this house is pretty old and so when I measured going to 42 U it was pretty much hitting the uh, the wood here okay and I'm not planning on you know drywalling the ceiling or whatever it's just gonna be open like this so that's gonna be something I guess down the road I guess where wherever I'm gonna be putting my mining rigs is is it gonna ambiently heat up the upstairs so that that may potentially be a problem but anyways showing you guys my networking I can't wait to get this set up I am super excited right now I am waiting on uh, this this setup the 400 amp to get energized at the pole or at the power lines right now There's a little bit of a delay and so it could happen in the next couple weeks here Hopefully, but ultimately like the rest of the house like upstairs and stuff is not done anyway So not really in a rush Well, I mean I am in a rush because I do want to get set up all of my you know all my networking and as well They did run new conduit going up and the D mark for my internet and fiber is gonna go right there I think right there, hopefully, and it'll be close to my, you know, my router and how I'm gonna do on my internet and stuff. Hopefully, I am able to get business internet and a special like fiber router MRV so that I can hook up fiber directly to my Ubiquiti Dream Machine Pro Special Edition so that I can do a GBIC connection directly into the Ubiquiti router and as well, hopefully, into the 10 gigabit port because I may be able to get 2.5 gigabit fiber connection up and down 
down 2.5 gigabit. That would be utterly insane if I could get that here. And so then, man, I'm gonna be flooding this whole server rack with servers and I'll be able to like host nodes and do all that fun stuff. I'll be super set. But the thing is I need to, you know, it's not cheap to, if, especially if I wanna do like high availability stuffs, right? So I would need to have stuff like, you know, battery backup system of some sort, decent servers, you know, that have at least two power supplies, right, for redundancy. And of course, I'm gonna have to run some type of virtual virtualization, either VMware or Hyper-V, like those are the two that I'm used to. I know that a lot of people use Unraid, so maybe I'll check that out, but I'm used to like VMware and the hypervisor and high availability. And so if one host goes down, then the other two servers can, you know, kick in and still run all the virtual machines up, you know, that kind of thing. Probably not. It's networking stuff that I, I would say majority of the people may not have heard of about, but that's stuff that I'm, you know, I used to do and I'm actually excited to get that up. Anyways, enough about networking. This is the meat and potatoes of this whole house for me personally. All the power is going in around the house. You guys know I did run extra uh, 20 amp, 240 volts, all over, like every single room. You guys see the yellow cables? That's going to each of the rooms. And then the white cables are like the typical 15 amp, uh, 120 volts everywhere. I mean, some of these yellow ones, like the 12 gauge cables, some of them are gonna be 120 volt, 20 amp. So hopefully you guys understand that, right? That I do have, I do, I will have a lot of devices that are gonna be 120 volt only, not necessarily just for mining, but just regular stuff, right? Like, I don't know, air conditioners, vacuums and whatnot. So I'm not gonna just do 240 volt, 20 amp on every single 12 gauge here that goes to every room, right? I do need to have some 120 volt around the house, all right? So hopefully that makes sense. But I mean, I will have a couple of these, uh, I think these are the white ones are the 14 gauge, 15 amp, 120 volts, but that's just for some of the common areas. And then over here, all right, that goes to this second panel, you guys have probably noticed there's two 10 3 gauge cables and they're actually already wired in. I got one for my server rack, which is gonna be 240 volt, 30 amp, right? So this is gonna run for, great for my trip light PDU that I have here, 240 volt, 30 amp trip light PDU. I love this thing, this is just perfect. So this is gonna run all of my all of my networking gear on 240 volt, which of course is gonna be nice and efficient. And it's just, uh, right now it's not plugged in, right? So we're gonna put it somewhere over here. And I forgot to mention, I will see if I can, I don't know if I can vlog or live stream, you know, putting all these Cat 6A and funneling them, like I, I wanna do it in a way I can funnel them all into one, you know, pipe and then bring it in. You guys can probably help me here if I should bring it in under or on top. Right, I've seen many different, I would say, data centers and server racks of people putting in, you know, massive pipes of cat cable, right, that goes above. And normally, like closed server racks will have openings at the top. I have an open air style one, so really I can go anywhere. So it'll look kind of, it'll look kind of weird. But it's because, you know, I found this for pretty cheap where I live here. And my thought process was, you know, I wanted open air because in case this area decides to get hot, with if I do have some mining in here. I don't want to have my routers and stuff, you know, heat up as networking gear can get pretty hot from my experience. So anyways, I wanted to keep talking about here. Now, this portion of the video, I wanted help from you guys on where, you know, where should I put my mining rigs? So guys, hear me out here. This is what I was thinking of potentially building a wall uh, actually, no, building a wall on this side. Okay, so there is a doorway here, just so you, you guys can see, right? There's a doorway. I was thinking of doing a wall all the way over there, like a legit wall, drywall, two by fours, all that stuff, covering all the way up until the other 200 amp panel, right? So it's segregating this whole area for my networking and maybe some small mining rigs and you know, that kind of stuff. So that these circuit panels here don't get essentially like heat soaked, if that makes sense. And so the reason why I wanna do the wall here is that so that if I do a lot of mining rigs on the other side of this wall here, as you guys can see, okay, there's a little window here which I can extract all the heat out this way, but then the intake for the air, if I, if I put like, I don't know, two racks here, okay, just two shelves, and oh, there's another 240 volt 30 amp 
which is run here already. Okay, that's gonna go, that's actually supposed to be technically for electric car, but really that's, obviously I'm gonna be using that for mining. And of course I'll have a lot more that uh, 30 amp, 240 volts that I can add to this panel, obviously. So I'll just, you know, get my buddy to run a couple, I don't know, into this room. We'll do another video about numbers and how many 240 volt, 30 amps I need for this small, you know, this square footage in here. I'm gonna say, I don't know how big this is. I don't know, 10 by 10, I don't know, 10 feet. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, maybe 12 by a 12 by 12 square little room here. And so uh, looking at, if you guys are wondering, so Red Panda, where are you gonna get the intake for the air? So this is my idea, okay, this is my idea. So since there's a wall here, all right, which I could, you know, potentially just cut out a, I can cut out a square or a couple squares Right, and I can put some exhaust fans or intake fans that blow air coming from this other room here, right? And the air, you guys may be wondering, where's the air gonna come from? I could theoretically get the air from my little garage windows, which I can take out. And so that cold air could potentially come through this door and then go through here, right? Go through this wall and then go through out into, uh, if I have uh, in this 12 by 12 room here right, and then exhaust out that way. Do you guys think that's a, a legit little idea there? Let me know down below. And I do have to think about, you know, the ceiling here. Uh, maybe I do have to cover it so that, you know, stuff doesn't get heat soaked and the above here, actually I'm not quite sure what's above here, so I have to be mindful of that. You know, maybe I can't put too much mining in this area, but does it make sense that I do make another wall here so that the circuit panels don't essentially get heat soaked? I don't want the circuit panels to get hot, right? That's the last thing I wanna do. So I think keeping it separated, especially with my server rack in, you know, in this, this area here, I think that might be better because I won't put too much mining in here because I'll have my server rack in here and servers. It may be hot already, but you know, I can essentially put another exhaust fan or something in there. I don't know. There's so many possibilities I could do. You guys can let me know. Obviously in this room here, there's more possibilities of me potentially uh, seeing if I can put another window here somewhere to push out out of the house, right? That That's another potential way, but the ground is, you know, relatively in the middle here. So the window would be, I don't know, up here somewhere. The exterior is actually already finished. So I don't know if I could, uh, I don't want to ruin the outside here, but another potentialness here is this side. All right, you guys, I forgot to talk about this side. This is obviously like, you know, the car garage side. I'm obviously gonna put my car here, but I could, you know, theoretically put an exhaust fan there, have more mining rigs, uh, sitting over here and I do have another garage door bay over there and I could put more mining rigs over there many possibilities I have a lot of room that I could you know potentially play with but yeah over here right this door is that goes into that uh, that plate that part that I just explained it's uh, I'm kind of stuck let me go back over here and okay so this is where this area goes out into the garage over here if that makes sense okay so i have a lot of room i could just put you know my mining cave tower just all over here and it's nice and cool in this basement it's actually a super hot day right now so surprisingly it's nice and cool under this basement which is pretty nice and concrete right which uh, i do need to get cleaned up obviously the work is not done in this place but Ah, so many possibilities. I'm super excited. This is, this is seriously, this makes me so happy seeing the two 200 amp circuit panels here. The two 200 amp pipes are in and it's just awesome. They obviously need to put in the breakers and all that good stuff and I have to run more 240 volt 30 amps, but that's later in the future. I don't need to do that now until, you know, this house is completely done. I, I would love to show you guys the upstairs, but honestly, the difference is, is that it's just painted and the floor is gonna be going in pretty soon along with everything else. So I think that's it for this vlog. I want you guys to give me your opinions, okay? Give me your opinions. Do you think that this little area section here, like 12 by 12-ish is gonna be good for a little mining area with like two shelves and you know, I put the wall here because I don't wanna heat soak the circuit panels and my networking. Does that make sense? You guys can let me know. Anyways, my friends, thank you for watching. Let me know your thoughts. I'll see you all in the next video. Have a good one and peace out.
Oh, yeah, all of this, like this is the old electrical in the house. This is something they're not quite sure what they're gonna do. If they're gonna replace all this and then put like like a sub panel to, to there, right? To power the old existing wire that was in the house for the like older existing wire in the house. Anyways, I have no idea. That's gonna be up to the electricians. All right, my friends, have a good one. And peace out.